guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about old wives gender myths. I just wanted to kind of like debunk them, whether I'm on the girl or boy spectrum when we can kind of like tally them up. I think it will be really fun to try out just like the little myths and see where I fall, like whether I fall more like girl or more like boy. So if you're new to my channel, definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button and let's just get into it. So I have the, I have it pulled up here. Carrying high or carrying low? So supposedly if your pregnant belly sits up higher, you're carrying a girl. And if you are carrying your baby lower, you're having a boy. I don't really know if I'm carrying high or low. Um, I'll show you my belly. I think I'm carrying higher. So I think girl. I don't know. Um, okay, so the next one is sweet or salty cravings. If you are mostly craving sweet foods, you're expecting a girl. While on the other hand, if you're craving mostly salty foods, you're expecting a boy. Can't really say because in my first trimester, I think I was, I was craving both. So I don't know. Now I think I'm craving, I'm craving both. This is not easy for me. Sweet food, girl, salt. I would say probably more salty. So I would say boy. But that one's a tough one because I kind of crave both. Okay, morning sickness. Okay, so if you're having morning sickness, it's supposedly a definite sign that you're having a girl. But if you were able to skate through pregnancy without being sick at all, you're having a boy. So I would definitely say girl on that one. Morning sickness was definitely there for me. Breaking out. There is a saying that if you are having a baby girl, she steals your beauty. If you are having a boy, they let your beauty show. So if your skin is clear, you're having a boy. And if your face is covered in breakouts or blemishes, you're having a girl. Okay, so my first trimester though, I was covered in breakouts. So I would say girl. I'm definitely more clear now. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just gonna go with girl because I'm breaking out like no other. Glowing skin. You're probably having a boy if you're glowing. And if you look at the same as always, guess you're having a girl. I would say girl again, cause I'm not glowing. Girl, this is highlight. This is not, <laughs> this is not natural. <laughs> Soft or dry hands. Supposedly if your skin is more dry than usual, you can expect a boy. And if your skin is silky smooth, you're having a girl. Um, I wouldn't say I'm dry. So gosh, a girl, I guess. Sleeping position. If you like to sleep on your right side, you're expecting a girl. If you like to sleep on your left side, you're expecting a boy. I don't like to sleep on any sides. I'm literally like every night I wake up and I'm flat on my back. I start out usually like on my left side and then I roll to my right side. Nothing really feels good. I don't have a pregnancy pillow. I just don't want to spend the money on it when I can just like push pillows all around me. I don't know. Probably should get one, but I'm just being cheap. But um, yeah, I end up being on my back. So what does that mean? <laughs> Um, I'm not going to count that one because I don't know. I can't tell you. Hair texture. If your hair is feeling thick and shiny, you're having a boy. And if your hair is really thin and dull, you're having a girl. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, at the beginning of my first trimester, I was definitely having like that dull, greasy hair. So I'm still going to stick with like my hair was nasty and greasy and not like beautifully glowing. So I'm going to say girl. Body hair. This is weird. If your body hair has begun to grow faster and thicker since you got pregnant, you're having a boy. If your body hair hasn't changed at all, you're having a girl. I don't know. I don't think my body hair has changed. So I think girl. <laughs> weight gain. Placement. Weight gain placement. They say if you are carrying all your baby weight in your belly that you're expecting a boy. And if you are carrying the weight all over your body, you're expecting a girl. I would say for now, I'm carrying it all over my body because my chest has definitely gotten a lot, a lot bigger. Um, my thighs and my butt definitely have gotten, have gained weight along with my belly, obviously. So I, I would say all over, what was that again? And if you're carrying weight all over your body, expect a girl. Okay. So girl feet temperature. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why would your feet matter? Okay. If your feet have been a lot colder than normal, it's said that you're probably having a boy. And if your feet feel the same temperature as always, you're having a girl. My feet have felt cold, so boy. Headaches. Bad headaches are supposedly a sign that you're having a boy. And having no headaches means you're having a girl. Well, boy. The shape of your belly. 
If your belly is more round like a basketball, you're having a boy. And if your belly is wider like a watermelon, you're having a girl. I would say it's wide like a watermelon. Like it's definitely going from here to here. It's not just like a round ball in the front. So girl. Okay. It is said that if you're very clumsy during pregnancy, you're expecting a boy. And if you are graceful, you're expecting a girl. I wouldn't say I'm either, so I'm normal. So I guess girl, if I'm normal. Moody mommy. <laughs> the theory is if you are more emotional and moody than you were before pregnancy, you're having a girl. <laughs> and if your mood is the same, you're having a boy. Gosh, I don't wanna drag myself too much, but I'm definitely, I've definitely been a little bit dramatic. I mean, when you're not feeling good, you know, you just whine a lot, you know? So girl, heartburn, oh yeah. I had a lot of heartburn with my son. So, and I haven't had any heartburn with this pregnancy. So just saying. So if you're having heartburn, it's supposedly a sign of having a baby with a head full of hair. That's true. My son came out with lots of black hair. It's also the sign of having a baby girl. If you have no heartburn at all, you're having a boy. Well, I don't believe that one because I had the worst heartburn ever with my son and he's a boy. I don't believe these. Nail growth. If you notice that your nails are growing faster, thicker, and stronger, you should expect a baby boy. If they are very brittle and break easy than normal, you should expect a girl. Okay, so my nails are definitely growing faster and they've been pretty good. So I would say boy. Swollen legs and ankles. Swollen legs and ankles is supposedly a sign of having a boy. If you aren't having any swollen legs or ankles, it's a sign you're having a girl. I haven't had any swollen things, so I'm gonna say girl. Your partner's weight, sympathy weight, the tails say you're having a sweet little girl. And if your man's weight hasn't changed, you're having a boy. Well, he's gained weight, so girl. Ring swing. If the ring swings in a circle, you're having a boy. And if the ring swings back and forth, you're expecting a girl. I actually did this test with my cousin and the ring, whatever it did, it did girl is what she said. So can't remember if it was swinging back and forth or a circle, but she knew and she said, girl, <laughs> ask a toddler boy. I have one. So what is this? There's an old fashioned gender test that says a little boy will show interest in your pregnant belly if you're having a girl. And if he just ignores your belly, you're having a boy. I don't know. I mean, it's not like he's like constantly rubbing my belly and touching it. No, but whenever I'm like, here, feel the baby, you know, he'll come over and put his hand on it and stuff. You know, honestly, I would say he's ignoring my belly. I would say, okay, so that's boy. Okay, that's it. That was all of them. So what do you guys think? Am I having a boy or am I having a girl? <laughs> honestly, honestly, this whole time after being so sick with my first trimester, I honestly, in the back of my mind, think girl a little bit, but it's just because my pregnancy has been so different than my first pregnancy with my son that I feel like because it's been different, then I'm probably having a different gender, you know? Um, but honestly, it doesn't matter. All pregnancies are different no matter what. And it doesn't mean that if anything is changed, it's going to be a different gender. So since I know that in the back of my mind, I'm like, don't say you're going to have a girl when it could easily turn out to be a boy, you know? So we'll find out tomorrow. I'm having my anatomy scan tomorrow. I'm very excited. Like I said, we're going to do our gender reveal. We're going to do a quarantine version where we actually, um, are going to just film like a Facebook live and film it at home and our family and friends can hop on and watch it. And I'll save that video and I will probably post it to YouTube. So you'll get to see that as well. Um, we're very excited. So um, leave your comments down below. If you think it's boy or girl, what do you guys think? So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.